in a prior video I ran uh, an in the prior video I ran a line between my house and my garage for 240 uh, in a prior video I ran a line between my house and garage for a 240 volt feed to, for charging my electric vehicle in this video I'm going to do the wiring or the pre-wiring within my garage itself and then on the third video I'm going to issue in the future is going to do the wiring inside my house between the penetration coming through the wall and to my breaker box. <laughs> video I ran the power feed 240 between my house and my garage here I'm going to continue with this installation by doing the pre wiring inside the garage itself this is pretty straightforward so I'm going to turn down the video sound and, and just kind of let it speed through it should be self-explanatory inch EMT electrical conduit. I would have just bought the uh, fittings, but because of the pandemic here, a lot of stuff is in, in stock. So I went to one big box at a home improvement place. They didn't have it. I didn't just want to go to another one to do it. So 
I just end up doing it myself, but you can see me sweating like a storm here trying to get this done. For me, the horizontal mortar joint has made a good uh, reference point to run a straight uh, conduit line. The wires you see right now, uh, the red and black are hot, the white is a neutral, and I still gotta run the green, which will be my ground wire. Tube cutter won't cut. I wonder why. Let's see here. It finally just broke. Quite naturally. I had another one, but let me DIY. I try to fix it and keep using it. Uh, but it turned out that I couldn't fix it, so I ended up using my other one, which was actually more than this one. Very line penetrating through my garage wall. I ran the conduit from the far west side of my garage to the east side of my garage uh, southern wall using uh, 10 gauge wire, uh, three wires and still haven't pulled the ground, haven't done that yet. And in this box here is going to be my outlet 
for my connection, for my EVSE uh, feed, for my Anima 6-20. In the earlier part of this video, you notice I was sweating because it was 89 degrees outside here. You see I have uh, my work uh, sweatshirt on because the temperature within a couple of days will drop down to the high of uh, 67. You'll see in this part of the video I started install I actually installed a 620 um, outlet uh, that's connected to a 20 amp uh, breaker in the house I'm thinking and I made uh, changes to bring out uh, 30 amps rather than 20 amps which means that this uh, outlet will be changed from a 620 to a uh, 1430 uh, Nemo 1430 uh, receptacle so then that way it actually puts more um, amperage out to the garage which would allow me to charge my electric vehicle faster from that of a 20 amp versus a higher 30 amp Keep an eye out for my part three video as I finish the wiring within my basement. Uh, this should be very brief. Uh, and then I'll be able to charge my EV from my house uh, circuit breaker box to my detached garage using 240 volt electrical power.
using using 240 volt using 240 volt electrical power using 240 volt electrical power